What is going on, Swoopers? Welcome back to a very delayed Swoop Luke. In this video, we'll be previewing the Gold Coast Collingwood game that's happening today. Let's get into it. So just before we do get into it, I've been battling camera troubles, microphone troubles um, for the last couple of days, so that's why it's so late. So this is going to be a really quick preview just to give you a little bit of taste of what's to come uh, at 10 past 1 against Gold Coast at the MCG today. So, like I've just been saying, Colin will take on the Gold Coast Suns today at the MCG. We all remember what happened last time we took on the Suns at the MCG. They bring a young team here, players that haven't even played at the MCG before, and we just got absolutely trounced on our home turf. One of those games where we shouldn't have lost, but one of those games where you watch it, and I remember going to that match and watching it and going, this is what we have come to. This is the mediocrity that um, Collingwood is, is putting out. Um, and already from that game last year to this game now, it is just stark contrast. We are two sides of, of a different coin at the moment. What we were producing last year to what we are producing now, it's just a, a huge backflip. And, and we've been saying that all year. We know this all year. But I think we have better place to verse the Gold Coast Suns now than we were last year and hopefully get that win. So Gold Coast have kind of had a season a bit like us, uh, up and down. They got trounced by GWS. They lost to Brisbane last week. But they've had a couple of good wins. You know, they had a really good win against Carlton. They, they absolutely... Uh, Beat Carlson. Carlson didn't know what hit them. Um, so props to the Suns for that. Um, but we come into this game after a good win last week against the Dons on Anzac Day. A game where, like I said in our um, review, probably we shouldn't have won based on paper stats. Um, but then there were games this year, like the Geelong game, like the Brisbane game, a bit of the West Coast game where we dominated on the stat sheet and still lost. So that's just football sometimes. But... I think we have the Suns' as measure today. Now we've got a very, now we've got very huge outs, huge in um, presence and huge in height. Kruger goes out for the rest of the year with a shoulder injury, needs shoulder surgery. Grundy goes out with that PCL injury. Now timing could not be worse. Going up against Jared Witts, the number one, um, or not the number one, but one of the premier ruckmans in the competition. Gold Coast are number one for hitouts. They're fifth in clearances and second in inside 50s. So they win a lot of their ball in the middle. Without Grundy there, you'd think that Cameron's going to mainly ruck with no Cox. Begg is, is a little bit too undersized, as in skinny, to go up against Wits because Wits will just absolutely dominate him. Um, so, uh, Beg will probably play a little bit more forward, giving Cameron more of the ruck duties. Um, I don't expect us to win hitouts and clearances, but we didn't win clearances last week, and we still were able to win the game. So, we need to shark Jared Witz's um, hitouts. That's the way we're going to get it in. Yeah. Now, Gold Coast are 18th for marks in game, 17th for disposals, 17th handballs, 15 kicks. They don't possess the ball a lot. They're direct football. We just need to man up, something that we didn't do last week against Essendon, um, and that will go a long way into winning this game. We're a good pressure side. We're a good tackling side. We have to bring that. I'm expecting plus 60 tackles today um, to kind of bring that pressure down because with no Kruger there in that forward line, no Jamie Elliott, Cameron's going to be rucking a lot of the time. We've got to get a little bit more uh, defensive, and our small forwards have to kick those goals. You know, Ginevan has to kick a couple as well. Boba Curry has to pop up. Brody Mychek has to kick those goals. So, a lot of things have to go right to beat this Gold Coast Sun side. Not that they're, they're, you know, top four in the league or anything like that, but because of their dominance in the middle, and without Grundy, that's the scary thing about going into this game. I do expect a Collingwood win. I've got us winning by about 20 points. It's going to be a good game either way. They're also ranked 16th in tackles. So if we can get these little things right, we're going to win this game. And we, we need to win it. Look, it is a not a rebuilding year. It's a, a readjustment year. So yes, we all want to win. And if we lose, it's going to suck. It's going to suck if we lose. We had no expectations going into this year. We had six wins last year, finished 17th. Anything higher than 17th is a win to me. But... Let's go out there. Let's get the win. I'll see you at the MCG. But until then, like, comment, subscribe. Tay family, Tay friends, Tay pets. And until next time, double checkers. I'll sweep you later.